So behind Heaven's Agricultural District, we have the forestry area, which, if I'm being honest with you, could maybe do with a bit of TLC. The area is the only remaining place within our colony which is exposed to all of the dangers of the overworld. The rest of our colony, maybe apart from the little area over there now that I come to think about it, at least has some nice sturdy walls all the way around it. So I think to begin with, we will maybe continue our little wall segments all the way down just over through this area here, slowly starting to protect the forestry area. And as easy as it is to say that, the execution of actually bringing out this wall and extending it along the length there is anything but thanks to some obstacles that we have in place here. But that is a job for our builders to then worry about. Let's just get this thing into place here and we'll get Andy coming out and starting to construct the beginning parts of these walls. I would like the wall segments to eventually come out to just somewhere behind our forestry builds here. Maybe up to that little hillside there actually might not be too bad. So we will extend them down from our agricultural district to a certain point along the way, then bring the wall segments down to this area and maybe just then meet up with this little hill here. That should pretty much enclose the forestry area and just keep all of the nasty raiders and other things out. In addition to placing down some new wall segments, we will also tidy up all of the trees around here and maybe get some of them actually growing from their saplings. And we will also upgrade the builds around here as well. Nice hat there, Ainsley. But that will require us upgrading the forestry builds themselves to level 5. And maybe their houses? Their houses already have purple blocks within them, so that means they will be level 5. I think it's then just the forestry huts themselves that we will need to level up. Which, by the looks of it, are going to be insanely quick for them to do. That's the only materials required for level 5. Okay then Cyrus, you can then come out and do that for us. That really shouldn't take you too long. And Luella, you will upgrade our second one there. Perfect. Bloody druid. That is Andy and Elia now both out here helping us clear out and build these new wall segments. Thank you very much, chaps. I need to think about what I want to do with this little hillside here, though which will continue our plaza path all the way up it, but I'm just not sure how to really handle the big wall decoration beside and the smaller agricultural walls to this side, seeing as we will have this rather obnoxious gap between the two of them, although I could just put some blocks down there to tidy over that and maybe just forget about it. I might do that actually, that sounds nice and lazy. I should still have a few more blocks to make these paths over here, which I do, so we'll take some of these out and see what type of mess that we can then get up to with this. And eventually we end up with something that looks like this. Not too bad if I do say so myself here. We will need to finish some of these sections off by putting in the bamboo and cherry blossom leaves, but that's pretty much this area now complete. We will eventually get this guard tower removed and continue the path down, but we're looking not too bad so far, I've got to say. And now with all of that more or less done, let's move on to something a bit more exciting. Oh, but just before we do, there's a bit of a paradox for us. 
That was the ocean's heart research just finishing off within the university. And that was a research for our fishers to be upgraded from a previous episode. Yet, this episode here should be coming out after that episode has already been out. All timey-wimey stuff with that. But that's enough about that. Let's continue on with the building here then, shall we? In this little area that we have here, we don't really have too much going on. So I thought we would maybe place in a hospital and a restaurant build within this area which can then cater towards the agricultural district and our forestry area here as well. If nothing else really, it just helps flesh out this area a little bit more and means that our idiots then need to travel just a little bit less to get fed and healed. So we will tuck in our new hospital build right beside the new restaurant build, pretty much where they're sat here and then have that new path just come down and wrap its way around it, then head over towards our forestry huts. Yup, sounds like a plan to me, so let's get these builds up and constructed. Of which Elia will construct one of them for us, seeing as she isn't currently doing anything, and we will get Luella then coming out to construct this one for us seeing as she has finished off the upgrade to level 5 for our forester. As has Cyrus to be fair, but I've already moved him on to do a wall segment for us. But here are our new level 5 foresters. Lovely stuff. And whilst they get on with all of that, it's straight back to some more path placing for me. What I'm going to do along this little pathway here is continue our plaza path all the way up to the end until we get to a gate on this side which we will then be led through into the actual forestry area. Then we will run along a wall just to separate the two areas. Probably the agricultural style wall actually. And that then pretty much just makes this whole area its own contained entity. Nicely done there, Loella. Let's uh, get you back out here upgrading the hospital to level 2 next. And that about does it for this area, I think. It's really looking not too bad. And to be honest with you, I'm absolutely fed up of placing down pavements now. So... Onto something else, which will involve this area here, our actual forester's area, which I think I will keep pretty natural, I think. Natural in the sense of not really doing too much to it, apart from maybe placing down some more different type of trees, but yes, no more form of paving. Let's just keep grass and get some more saplings placed in. Although in this little area that we have here, what I am going to do is place in another guard tower, just for a little bit of protection out in this area, seeing as we did remove that one earlier. And we will tuck that tower just in the corner there, out of the way, and we will bring a dirt path or something just along the way to it whenever it's up and constructed. Right then chaps, this area is an absolute bloody mess with all of the different type of trees just scattered absolutely everywhere. So, what I'm going to do is pretty much strip away all of the trees that we have, and then reset them in a more fashionly order, I think. Although that's an interesting generation there. Uh, whoops, did not mean to hit that bee. But we do have two bee nests that have spawned in on that one tree. Interesting. Man, this place looks so much different now. A lot cleaner and a lot clearer. Let's re-mess it back up by placing down some more saplings, but this time in a slightly more organised fashion. By which I really just mean 
planting some bigger trees so that our foresters have to cut less trees in order to get the same type of wood amounts out. Oh, you know what? Screw it. Let's just put all of these trees down again. But at least this time we will have a little bit of a mixture rather than all just spruce. Yeah, I do get the feeling that all of that was just a complete waste of time. But hey, at least we did manage to get quite a bit of wood out from it, so I suppose that's not too bad. And actually, with all of that wood that we did get there, I could come around and make some log pile decorations, just as another form of decoration for this area. A couple of these could really add a lot to the overall decoration of this area, so yes, it's not all that bad. Well, I think you get the general idea of what I was going for with the forestry area, so I've taken the liberty to skip forward a little bit. Well, quite a long bit, actually. But here is our new renovated forestry area. And damn, does this area look good, I must admit. The path from our agricultural district over the hill towards the forestry area is now pretty much complete and has been fleshed out just a little bit more with some more detail and we have the hospital and restaurant now up to level 5. I have kept the forestry area itself nice and natural. All I've done is place in a few more saplings, some more plants and have this coarse dirt path leading over to some new builds that we have within the area. Overall, I really think this area has improved pretty vastly compared to what it did originally look like and things are really, really looking great here. I'm very, very proud of this. Not only is this place an improved area for our foresters to chop down wood for our colony, but it's also going to act as a nice place for our idiots to visit during their downtime. So there's another part of our colony that I would now class as complete. Man, I really love how this turned out.